Alright, start off with a new user interface widget blueprint. Name it whatever you want and then open that up. Add a canvas panel. And then I'm going to add a text box, multi-line. I'm going to change the position. And the background and the size of the font. Compile, save that, and then you can go to the text line here. Add whatever you want. You can hold shift enter to get to the new line. Compile, save that. It'll look a little weird in here. I'm not sure why it does that. With the text selected, and make a new animation for fade HUD tip. Add a new track. Add a render opacity track and a keyframe. I'm going to drag it out to 0 0.25. And then make it 0. Add the other keyframe. You can preview it by sliding it across. Now go into the graph. Make a custom event. Fade out HUD. Get the animation out. Play animation forward. Plug that in. Save that and close that. Now we're going to make a new blueprint class actor. For trigger HUD tip. Open that up and add a box collision. I'm going to change the size of this. And then you can go into the event graph here. And we're going to get our player character. Cast to BP third person character. Right click and promote to variable. And then click your box, scroll down and get the on component begin overlap. Get an equals and your character into the other part into a branch. And then from the true, get a do once. After that you want to create widget. Get player controller. Select your widget. Right click and promote this to a variable. And then drag from here and add to viewport. And then hold D and click to get a delay. I'm going to put 5 seconds here, then get your HUD reference out, and call that custom event. And then you want to get that animation that we made. Get the end time, get another delay, and plug that in. And then get your HUD reference one more time, and remove from parent. Compile save, and that's it for here. Now you can put it in your world, so you have a tutorial level or something like that, and you want them to know some specific information. And change the size of this, and then test it out. And then it'll fade out. Thanks for watching.